Have you wondered why you end up smiling when someone smiles at you? Is there a scientific basis to this? Well, as a matter of fact, there is. In the 1990s, there was a rather famous research that was done in the University of Parma in Italy, supervised by Giacomo Rizzolatti. There was this macaque monkey that had a lot of these electrodes plugged to its brain. In this research lab, one day a researcher walked into the lab and saw a bag of peanuts and he was probably hungry and cracked open a few peanuts and started eating them. The researchers were rather shocked when they saw electrical activity in the frontal lobe of the brain of this monkey. Now what was particularly intriguing was this. When the monkey cracked open this nut and ate this nut, a part of the brain showed electrical activity and the same part of the brain showed a similar electrical activity when this monkey saw this researcher eat this nut. What is the big significance of this research? In fact, Giacomo Rizzolatti discovered something called the mirror neurons. These mirror neurons light up in the frontal lobes of the brain not only when you perform an action but also when you see somebody perform the same action. This is really why we smile at someone when someone smiles at us. This is also the same reason why you feel good when you see a good action being done by somebody else. What is the significance of these mirror neurons? Scientists believe that these mirror neurons are the foundation of empathy. They explain why human beings experience the same experience as another human being. When somebody suffers, you feel suffering. When someone is happy, you feel happy as well. So what this really means is pretty much this. Your mirror neurons seem to be a scientific evidence, a neuronal evidence, if you may, to demonstrate something very, very important. Whether you perform an action or whether you observe somebody else perform the same action, the same part of your brain, which is your frontal lobes, sees electrical activities. What does that mean? We are all connected by this invisible empathy and sense of connection that makes us human.